Pokemon is one of Nintendo's biggest game series. For the past 20 years, these cute little creatures have played a part in so many of our childhoods. So it isn't too crazy to believe that, eventually, the fans would take the reins and create their own Pokemon fan games to help reignite that fire we have in our hearts despite Nintendo not really being too keen on the idea. There's a lot of really cool Pokemon fan games, but the one we're going to look at today is none other than Pokemon Uranium. Pokemon Uranium is a fan game released on August 6, 2016 by creator JV. So the game starts up with this really motivational music and awesome title screen. It really gets you pumped. We are then given our traditional Welcome to the World of Pokemon speech from our new, uh, summer camp counselor looking professor, Professor Bambo, with an interesting little Pokemon by his side. But now, it's time to choose our character and name him... Hmm, I'm thinking... Waffle King! Perfect! But before our adventure officially begins, we're given this game's story. Yeah, there's actually a plot. Ten years ago, your family lived in Bell Beach City, the largest city in the Tandor region. Our father, Kellen, was a brave Pokemon Ranger, and our mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and expert on nuclear energy. Everything seemed great, until... One day, while Lucille was at work, something didn't seem right at the nuclear power plant. Something was going terribly wrong with the reactor. If we don't stop it, there'll be a total meltdown. Everyone must evacuate. However, Lucille wouldn't let that happen and dove deep to try and control the reactor. The entire building came crashing down and Lucille was never seen again. Kellen was beyond heartbroken to what happened to his wife. He then focused very heavily on his Pokemon Rangers career. So much so, that our young protagonist had to move in with our elderly aunt in Moki Town to begin our Pokemon journey. What? Pokemon? So, that's definitely a really heavy plot for a Pokemon game, but I like it. It gives the player the exact amount of motivation to play the game, and gives a welcomed change of pace from the traditional Pokemon story. You want to find out what happened to your family. Your aunt then tells you that you're going to be working as the professor's assistant, and you should head over to his lab as quickly as possible to talk to him, so you can start your long journey as a Pokemon trainer. So, we step outside and... Oh man, this game is really beautiful. Honestly, the sprites, the artwork, it's so pleasing to the eye, especially since this town gives off that small, humble village feel. It's completely surrounded by big, bountiful trees, and really gives off that feeling of spring. You're truly safe in this village. This is one of the best starting villages in any game I've ever played. Gah. <sighs> anyway, let's go head to the professor's place and see what's up. Also, you look kind of familiar, like an old friend from the past. So, we show up to the lab with our friend, Theo, and Professor Bambo explains we'll be working as his assistants, while of course going on our own Pokemon adventure. But it's now time for us to choose our starters. First up, there's Orchinx, the cute grass Pokemon that obviously resembles a happy little cat. Then, there's Elitux, the adorable horse-inspired water Pokemon with four tails. And last but not least, there's Raptorch, the lovely fire-based dinosaur starter and the doofiest looking one of them all. As you might have guessed by now, all of the Pokemon in this game are 100% new and original, which is truly a sight to behold. 150 new and unique Pokemon to find? It's really exciting, and just goes to show the amount of love that was put into the game. Anyway, back to choosing our starter. Now, there's actually a twist to this formula. Yeah, instead of the traditional way of going up to three Pokeballs and choosing the one you want, you and your rival are given a test to determine which Pokemon starter best suits your personality. It reminds me a lot of choosing your team in Pokemon Go. It's a really interesting and charming concept. 
You can take the test seriously. However, all of the answers are color-coded, so if you want a specific Pokemon, for example, I want Raptorch, you just have to answer all the questions highlighted in red. Same with blue for water and green for grass. And just like that, Raptorch is mine. Give a nickname? Of course. Um... Lil Syrup. That suits you. And in another turn of events, your rival is then matched with a Pokemon? That's weak against you. Yeah, I have the fire Pokemon, and Theo is given the grass Pokemon. Little changes like this to the Pokemon formula every now and then really keeps everything fresh and interesting. Instead of being the overachieving and evil rival that we're used to, Theo is more of a whiny idiot. Stupidly, he then challenges us to a battle. Theo does not understand Pokemon. This is where we get our first taste of battle. Everything from here on out should seem pretty familiar, just with a nice little redesign. And then, you battle. You know, choose an attack and feel bad for hurting the cute little thing. Anyway, he loses, runs home crying, you find him and bring him back because you're a good person. And then, it's time. From here on out, the world is your oyster, and your Pokémon adventure can truly begin. You'll explore this vast and rich world, come across some truly beautiful Pokémon, who we will catch, by the way. We'll call this one Butters. This is for all the times I got crowded! Oh! 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 Ha! Oh, and we'll catch this cute little guy too, and we'll name him... Chris. You'll also, of course, need to do what all Pokemon trainers do best, and collect eight badges from all the gyms, and uncover the truth about your parents. There's so much here for any lover of Pokemon to dig their teeth into, and I definitely don't want to spoil and ruin the adventure. I hope this video was able to convince you to give this game a go. It's such a beautiful title, and this amazing new world of Pokemon is waiting for you.